It's very interesting. Uh, 17 MEPs, uh, Scot Scottish um, MPs, 17 Scottish MPs have signed a petition asking for the bearskins used by uh, the British soldiers in the Edinburgh Royal Military Tattoo to be replaced by something fake. Now, the bearskin is an extraordinary um, head cap, uh, which is not peculiar to Britain at all, though Britain seems to be one of the few using it in a sort of routine military parades. Um, it's, uh, it, it goes back certainly to the 17th century when it was worn by a number of countries, including Prussia, France, Spain, uh, they're all wearing these tall fur hats, um, sometimes with quite uh, um, elaborate embellishments. Uh, the French grenadiers um, were wearing bearskins in 1761. Um, and the purpose presumably was to add height, to make the soldiers look more intimidating. Um, but most, most countries uh, that had used the bearskin stopped doing so. The Vatican, for example, stopped it. Um, I think Paul VI stopped the last bearskin wearer um, in 1970, following all the changes of Vatican II. Um, when he de there, and there, there were a number of Vatican regiments, and Pope Paul VI demilitarized the Vatican, so only the Swiss Guard remain in there uniform designed by Michelangelo. Um, but, uh, but, 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 but yes, in Britain, uh, the bands of the household division um, are there in their bearskin hats. Um, Belgium has bearskin hats, but, um, but some of the, um, uh, some of the hats now are fake. Uh, there's 14 countries that retain the hats, and Italy and Sweden um, have synthetic fur. Uh, I, what I didn't realize, and, um, and, and, and it comes to Kate Warner, um, who's one of Peter's senior campaign managers, she said, Scottish MPs, like the vast majority of the public, do not want Scots guards parading with the skin of a dead bear, on their head. I didn't realize that bearskins, I mean, I must be rather stupid, I didn't realize that bearskins, frankly, were made out of real bears. I remember meeting um, two real bears on a um, mountain path in Albania, and I met a, a, a rather potent um, goat herder, and I thought I could converse with him. I couldn't. We didn't have any common language at all. And I put out my hand to stroke his be his um, dogs, which were in the shadows behind him. They weren't dogs; they were baby bears on a chain. And one of them almost bit off my hand. And he he reached out to sort of push me away. <laughs> and um, and this this baby bear let out a sort of yell, and his um, his mouth wobbled into a huge bear um, opening. I mean, he looked like a sort of he looked like a yawning cabbage. Um, not unlike, not unlike the way I would imagine uh, Theresa May would look if she were singing something. Um, but uh, um, was it T Theresa May who's the cabbage? No, it's it's Liz Truss who is the lettuce. There we are. So much, uh, so much vegetable potential to be found um, in the front benches of the Conservative Party. But uh, uh, there we are. So the. Ministry of Defence has been sent a uh, has been sent a demand that it has to it has to get rid of the bearskin hats. I I I think frankly, once you've got them, you keep them, um, and perhaps there might be some um, some argument for creating a new breed of uh, faux bearskin hats, but certainly not to replace the ones we've got. Um, that would be absurd. But um, but to repurpose, and I'm sure actually the British Army probably is repurposing things. I can't imagine the British Army is killing bears. And as I say, I didn't realize that these things really were bearskin. I thought maybe 
they're something else. But um, uh, but 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 there we are, there we are. Bearskin hats, and um, and 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 the petition to get rid of them.